Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. Uh, Gregory wants to know, how can heaven have a multitude of people in heaven if only a small minority ever goes there? Well, Gregory, thank you so much for the question. It does show, I think, a little bit of an under misunderstanding of who goes to heaven. And maybe that's based on the fact that Christ has made it uh, somewhat simple for a sinful man to get there. Uh, the work of getting to heaven has been burdened by Christ himself. He paid the price. He uh, exacted the penalties of eternal death for us, for his church, for his people. He suffered the death that we could not suffer. He paid the price we could not pay. So from that perspective, sometimes we get the understanding that heaven is a, a very difficult place to get to, that you have to be good enough, you have to be bright enough, you have to be wise enough, you have to be uh, holy enough, and we miss the whole point of what salvation is all about. I want to go to answer your question scripturally. I want to go to uh, Revelation chapter 5 and then Revelation chapter 6. In Revelation chapter 5, we have a picture of the Lamb of God, that's Jesus, grabbing the scrolls of judgment. He is taking those scrolls into his own hands because he alone is worthy uh, to judge. It says, and then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders and the voice of many angels numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb, the blessing and honor and glory and might forever and forever. The four living creatures said, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshiped. Now that's a picture, a glorious picture of everyone who's sitting around the throne, elders, prophets, apostles, angels, but it says very little about the redeemed that are there. You have to go to the next chapter to figure that out. Because in the next chapter, he says, now watch this closely. It says, and I saw four angels standing on the corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow on earth or sea or against any tree. And then I saw another angel ascending from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. Now this is gonna become very important. And he called out with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm earth and sea saying, do no harm to the earth or to the sea or to the trees until we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. I heard the number of the sealed 144,000 sealed from every tribe on the sons of Israel. Now, <clears throat> we've got to be very careful here because there is a denomination that teaches only 144,000 will go to heaven and they use this verse as their proof text. you got to understand you're reading from the book of Revelation. There's symbolism in that book everywhere including in this passage, where he talks about where are those 144,000 people going to come from? He says, well, 12,000 of them from the tribe of Judah, they're sealed. 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin, Reuben, they're sealed. From Gad, they're sealed. From Asher, Naphtali, Manasseh, Simeon, Levi, Ishakar, Zebulun, 
Joseph and Benjamin, 12,000 from each of those 12 tribes are sealed and promised eternal life. Now, are we to take that number literally? Are we to look at 12,000 and say, well, let's count off. Once we hit 12,500, we're over the, lot, the allotment. That's not the case at all. The number 12 is the number of completeness in Scripture. When you tag that number to the number 1,000, it is multiplying that number infinitely. When you say 10,000, 12,000 from this particular tribe, you're saying a massive number of people from each of these 12 tribes is going to be sealed, sealed with the Holy Spirit. This is the picture, Revelation 7, of the content of the church. The true church of Jesus Christ is represented by the 12 tribes that were created all the way back in the Old Testament. We have become, as Galatians says, the Israel of God. So in that full sense of the word, 12,000 from each of these 12 tribes means the fullness of number, a number we cannot count, from each of the 12 tribes that are traceable back to the original 12 tribes of Israel, traceable back to the fact that they are the ones who initially constituted the makeup of the Church of Jesus Christ. So where we get the idea of there being a minority of people, you're not going to get it from Scripture. Scripture talks about a myriad of people, numbers, thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands that we cannot number, a myriad of people that flow from Old Testament to New Testament, saved by the same Jesus who gave his life on the cross. So to answer your question, you say, how can heaven have a multitude of people in heaven if only a small minority ever goes there? That's not true. A small minority is not all that goes there. There is a vast, a vast number of people numbering beyond whatever you and I can number. In fact, one day Jesus took Abraham for a walk under the stars. He pointed to the stars. Can you number them, Abraham? No. That's how I will number your seed. You cannot number them. Those 12 stars numbered by Abraham, representative of the nation of Israel, who become the church of Jesus Christ, that number cannot be numbered. So the fullness, the fullness of the elect is bigger and broader than you and I can possibly imagine. Revelation 6, Revelation 7. Take some time in those scriptures. I think you'll find what you're looking for. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Melissa Weisenfels, Executive Director here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so very much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed.